What's going on, y'all? Hope you're having a great day today, man. Today, I just wanted to come talk to y'all about how I was able to quit my nine to five job. It was a long process, man, but we here. You know what I'm saying? We living. Um, owning your own business is definitely a challenge, but it's uh, definitely better than working a nine to five. Just a disclaimer before we start this video, I just want to let y'all know if you are in a nine to five right now, you may hate it, you even may love it. Make sure y'all are grateful, man, because there are thousands and millions of people in this world that wish they were where you at right now. You know what I mean? So show God you're grateful just so them blessings can start coming in even more. So yeah, y'all, let's get straight into the video, man. I was able to quit my nine to five job, I believe it's a year now. Um, if it's not a year, it's like 10 months. Quit 10 months ago, man. Um, and one of the best decisions of my life, man. It was, it was tough, man, because I was doing construction. I was doing concrete work. And you, I'm talking about summertime. You know how I, GA be all over the place, but no, summertime, man, it was about like 98, 95 degrees every single day. I was out there on the jackhammer just going crazy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like picking up concrete, throwing it on a truck, go dump it, come back. It was hard work, right? But it, it taught me, it taught me hard working skills though. You know what I mean? Like I, I became obviously strong and got your body right, but just, just fighting through that hard time. You know what I mean? So, which is, which is obviously going to help me out in the future and, and it's helping me out now running my own business. You know, things are going to get tough and you just got to be able to fight through them. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, working that job, sick man, just, just tired every day. I'm, I'm in my head, I'm like, Bro, I, I know this is not the final destination for me, you know what I mean? Because I've always had that type of mindset, even me working in fast food. I knew I wasn't going to be in there for too long, you know what I mean? So I was working that job, working that job, man. And it just um, Instagram one day, I ran into this one guy. He was doing a car rentals, right? He was doing car rentals. And I'm like, bro, this dude just, he just rent people car out. Like he, he rent his car out and he gets like triple the money every single month. And I'm like... No way this is real. You know what I'm saying? Like, this don't even make no sense. Like, bro was able to drive Lamborghinis, Rolls Royces, whatever. And I'm like, wow, this this is this is this is fine. Like, I, I want to get into this. You know what I mean? So I ended up just keep on researching. I really researched him probably a whole year before I ended up quitting. And I'm just like watching his content daily, daily. Um, bought a couple of his little books, bought his courses and everything, and I'm just diving into it, right? So while I'm building that, I'm, I'm building my financial literacy, you know what I mean? Just because, I mean, I don't know where y'all grew up from, but just in my family household, the financial literacy wasn't talked about as much. So when I'm hearing certain words, I'm like, uh, okay, you know what I'm saying? Like certain numbers, they don't even sit right with me. It, it, it seems fake, it seems like a scam, uh, but y'all know what scam stands for, you know what I'm saying? Still confused about money. So that's, I was confused about money, right? Everybody talking about scam, scam, scam. And, but anyway, I keep on watching this content, keep watching this content. Um, a little bit, probably three months, two months ago before quitting that job, um, I began to start. It was really, um, yeah, about two, three months before me quitting that job. I'll say a month before me quitting that job, uh, I began to start listening to the Bible daily. Right, so on the way to work, I will have the Bible playing in my ear. I, I went all the way to Genesis and I was just letting it play on my phone listening it daily 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 and then you know when you when you listen to audio book you don't catch it but everything but you, some some things that hit you and like oh okay all right i got that piece stored in there you know what i mean and i think building that relationship with god and putting my confidence fully in god really was the the pushing point for me um what's really really crazy after i quit that job i went to the exact same job you know what i'm saying like <laughs> what was that uh, yeah, like a week or two later. A week or two later after quitting the, the, the original concrete job, I went to another job and um, I was working there. And it was just, I, the only reason I jumped to that job because I felt like I was, I, I was need to do something, right? I, bro, I'm, I'm getting low on finances. Like I need to move, I need to move, I need to move, I need to go do this. Um, so I just threw myself into it. It was nothing like I asked God about, I think I, I asked God, but I didn't, like I sat down and talked to him like, God, please allow me to get this job because I've seen the, the money, whatever. But just getting into it, I knew that I was not supposed to be there, right? God intended for me to start my business when I quit the first time, right? So I ended up going to that next job, hating it. I'm talking about, I'm working, bro, like six, eight, I'm waking up probably like 5.30, 6 a.m. I gotta go pick up people all oh, this, I ain't get home till six. Bro, my girl mad at me because I fall asleep in the movies, like watching movies and everything. So, 
But yeah, I sure let, let's speed this process up. So I ended up listening to the Bible um, in, in this job. And this job only lasted me, I'll say probably three months, two months. Um, I ended up doing that for two, two, three months. And like I said, I'm, I'm listening to the Bible in the morning. Right, so I'm, and I, I've never did this. I've never, you know, when you open up the Bible, you always just read. Me personally, I always just read a couple of pages of Genesis. I'm like, oh, it's too, it's too confusing. Like right? right when they start naming, this is, this was their mom. This is a, you know, what I'm saying relation. Like, I just let it go. But, uh, but anyway, I just let it kept playing. Right, and I went past Genesis, um, and, and and continuously start just listening to it, listening to it, listening to what God wants from us, what's not acceptable from God. You know, how is he punish, punishing people who's not following his command? A lot of the Old Testament is most of people, uh, God is putting people in the charge. They, they good for a couple couple weeks or so. Then they keep on praising other idols and everything. Anyway, so I'm listening to it. I'm listening to it, listening to it. And uh, I start to hear God's voice more clearer, right? Um, I start to hear his voice very, very clear in his it's nothing me I can explain, but it's just a, a voice in your head, but you know it's the righteous one. You know what I mean? Like, you know God is talking to you. So, he's talking to me. I'm just listening, I'm listening, I'm listening. And uh, probably a week before I quit the job, officially, um, I just went to go get five cars. Right? I, I just put myself in that position. I just went to go get five cars off the off the rap. Like, in, in a two-week span, I, was, I got, it was like two every weekend. Whenever I had free time to go, because usually getting off um, during the day, the dealerships are closed. So I wanted to go get five cop cars. Just hopped in there. I didn't have no marketing plan, bro. I listen. I didn't have. I didn't have a spreadsheet. I didn't know where they, where I was going to get all these customers from. Nothing, right? I, I, I seen an opportunity there, and like I said, God was just talking to me in that moment. So I just hopped into it, right? Hopped into that. That was probably the best decision of my life. I know it may seem risky for some people, but when I tell you that when you spend time in God's word and constantly hear his word, he talks to you, right? So he told me, listen, bro, go up and do it and, and, and do it now, all right? So I went off and did it. I jumped in there, got the five cars, and the customers just came, right? I, those cars did not sit no longer than a week, and I had people in those cars, and ended up, people ended up keeping those cars for months and months, and that completely substituted my income way more than how much I was making working that job. And what was the crazy, the, the craziest part of all this as well, right when I got those five cars, right when I got those five cars, I won't even say I quit that nine to five. God forced me out of that nine to five, right? Because right when I got those five cars, a couple days later, it is so crazy though, a week later, the dude ended up telling me like, hey man, we ain't got no more work for you right now. Uh, basically laying me off, right? I think he was just trying to do it the easy way, but basically saying we ain't got nothing for you. And if I did not take that jump, I would have had to go right back to the, the, the previous job I quit before. You know what I mean? So me taking, me going when God told me to go was the best decision of my life. That is how I was able to quit my nine to five, right? Jumping off, just going when God told you to go, I know you may be going through a lot of any type of situation in your life when there may be a lot of things you got going on right now, but I know there are times in every single person's life that they hear a voice in their head, right? Or they have a decision to make. You know, everybody know, I'm telling tell y'all, everybody knows when you have that decision to make, am I gonna do the right thing or the good thing, right? Am I gonna, something's telling me to take this right turn or I'm gonna just keep going where I, where I think I'm just going. Right, when you're in God's word, he's able to speak to you clearly, and you know, right, I could have been like, man, five cars, bro, I'm not getting those cars, but no, that, that's not a smart decision. But if I didn't, my butt would have been at a nine to five still. You know what I mean? So God pushed me to that point, get me in there, um, and I'm here today, man, just haven't been working a nine to five, like I said, eight months, 10 months or so, and it's, uh, it's been great. In the business world, definitely learning more in this space, but um, I just wanted to say, if you still at, at, at a nine to five job, I want y'all to give that, that boss, that CEO, the, the, the best, be, be the best employee you can. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, is there, there's gonna be time for me to hire employees, right? And the employee I hire, I wouldn't want no half working employee. Like I want an employee that's gonna wanna benefit my company. Like that's gonna come to work every day, strive hard to be the best and help my company succeed. 
right? So you need to be that person that you want, right? That's what the energy you put out is the energy you're going to receive. You know what I mean? So be that person, be that person for that company, man, because it's, I'm telling you, it's, it's just go all, this thing is like this. It, it's, it's, it's all working together for good. I'm telling you, God is amazing. Like he's, he's always working for good. And if you putting out that good energy, it's, it's going to be something that you receive. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, man, be the best employee that you can. While you at your job, you need to be stuck. This, this can be going, just, just some more advice. Like when you at that job, you need to have a vision. You need to have a goal of what you want to do and, and what you aspire to be. Not, not, I, I want y'all to know that the job that you're in is not your final destination, unless you want it to be. You know what I mean? Some of y'all got amazing jobs, right? Um, I always wanted to be a nurse, but I, that, that didn't work out because <laughs> chemistry came in and I ain't doing no chemistry. But uh, yeah, some of y'all may have great jobs and you want to stay in your job, cool. But me, when it, when it comes to me not working a job, I just think about the freedom aspect, you know, like, I ain't got no kids yet, but when I do have kids, like, I want to be able to go to every one of the football games. That's big to me, right? Because my dad wasn't at my football game, so I want to make sure my son has me there every game. So, he like, yeah, that's, that's just pops. That's, 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 that's what he's supposed to do, all right? He's supposed to show up, you know? So, um, freedom, that freedom, 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 and no stress. You know, the Bible's always, like, God talks about not worrying. You should never worry because God is in, in charge of your finances. God is going to make sure that rent is paid. If you do not, don't, like, just don't worry. He's going to take care of you. But money is a big stressor, especially in this world. You see how high this interest, this rent is? Yeah, I would love to have some million dollars in the account and be like, listen, if I fail, when I'm 80, I'm still going to be kicked up chilling. You know what I mean? Just because money is important in this world we live in. I'm not letting it control me. I'm not letting it rule me, take, care, take over me, or none of that. I just wanted to have it for safety reasons and for just for all my family to live the life they desire to live. Like, bro, we, we are, you, when you birth, like, you're supposed to be birthed into abundance. Like, gave, God gave us dominion of this world. Like, we're supposed to be eating whenever we want to eat, you know, fruits everywhere. You know what I mean? Like, living in abundance, but greed, government, all this controlled and everything. But to sum it all up, the reason I'm at right now is because of God, right? The reason you are watching this video right now is because of God. I think he's, he, he's, man, he, I can't put no word on it. It's, it's multi-dimensional, um, freak of nature. You know what I mean? Rule of all things. No one like him, man. There's no one like him. Just, just the divine timing, man, for, for him to come in there and just push me out of that thing and telling me to jump. And the biggest thing is you have to follow him, man, because he's going to lead you the right way every time. You just have to follow, right? And for you to be able to hear him even more, you got to take all that blockage out, man. Listen to all that nonsense, right? Hear his word consistently. You're going to be able to hear him more clearly. I pray so we can just end this video. Lord God, I want to say thank you for waking us up this morning, Lord God. Thank you for each and every individual that's watching this video right now. Please guide them in the right way that you want them to go, Father. Please allow them to listen to your commands, Lord God, because when they listen to your commands, they are walking in faith. They are walking with the Holy Spirit, and they cannot be defeated, and they cannot fail. Lord, we thank you. We're so, so blessed and thankful for you. Everything you do for us, please continue to God over us and watch over us. In Jesus' name we pray. I hope you have a blessed one. See y'all for the next video. Come